<laughs> um, yeah, I, hi. Oh my goodness. I should totally start that again. Hi, I'm Honey. Uh, welcome to Honey Mail. Oh my word. Uh, welcome to Honey Mail. Uh, I, this is only our second Honey Mail and I'm really, really sorry for that. I know everything that I'm going to be showing off. That's my new phone. <laughs> I know that everything I'm going to be showing off is stuff that we've gotten before, like months ago long time yeah so anyway I'm really really sorry I know we haven't kept up with that my plan is to take one of the vlogs a month and make them a honey mail and I mean less than that if, if we don't have anything but as long as we have things to show I want to at least uh, try to do that once a month so that we can keep up with them uh yeah part of it was but we didn't really have I know it's gonna sound like an excuse but I didn't have the webcam until like October, uh, September or October. And we, we got these things before then. And my camera, which you will see, I, I, I'm actually showing some of the horrible, horrible pictures. Uh, my phone camera is all we had. And so I filmed the first um, like Fodge's box on my phone camera and it wasn't that great. And the sound got corrupted and everything was a mess. So I had to overdub that. And then I didn't have another camera. Well, I, we do have a digital camera, but I, we were in the middle of um, moving and I never found it. But when we moved again, I found it. And uh, so that's what the other pictures that you're going to see uh, I used to take the other pictures. Well, now, of course, I have the aforementioned new phone and it takes beautiful pictures and video so I'll be it'll be a lot easier to uh, to do these in the future because we actually have access to the tools to do it and uh, and everything connects to the Dropbox and anyway it's so amazing so no more sitting there for two hours waiting for my camera to uh, to transfer over so anyway that is very, very cool. So without any further ado, I want to start this off. And if I'm editing it right, as I talk to you about everything, uh, where would it be? Uh, here. Yeah. Somewhere in this location. <laughs> you will see um, the different pictures that we've taken as we got the stuff. And, uh, <clears throat> and some that were taken after we got the stuff just because the old pictures were so old. Anyway, uh, you'll see, it's like a tint of blue-green over everything. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the first thing that I want to show you are uh, a set of magnets that Oddmast uh, ordered and sent out to himself, to me, and to our friend and teammate, uh, Arutha, also known as Des Dumbledore the First. Those of you who have kind of watched me for a while or listen to me streaming as I cast, know that uh, I was in a race for the wool team for RMCT2. We got to the semifinals, I might add. <laughs> um, and, um, and Odd and Daz were my teammates, and so was E. Carter. Well, Odd and Daz and I were all share a love of Doctor Who. And so we did a series of Doctor Who maps, which, guys, we should totally do that again. Um, and to do that... Daz actually made our skins into like Doctor Who themes. So my favorite doctor is the fourth doctor, Tom Baker, you know, rocking the long scarf. Love that. So we had, uh, he made my skin, my little honey girl, with kind of a Tom Baker look and the long scarf. And it was so cute. He made his skin into the 11th doctor, Matt Smith, and he made Odd Mass into a Dalek. Uh, and it's fab fabulous, absolutely fantastic. And we always tease Odd, exterminate, exterminate, because when we would be in Mumble or even Skype, he would always go a bit roboty, and he would kind of cut out that lovely internet that he has. And so, um, anyway, that's kind of where it came from. Well, Oddmas ordered a set of magnets, uh, one Dalek, uh, Dalek, one Eleventh Doctor, one Fourth Doctor, uh, for each of us. And he sent them out to us. And I believe he ordered those from Van Ryder LP, in fact. And they are the cutest things. I kind of have a thing for magnets and for keychains. Yeah. Anyway, um, they were the cutest things ever. And so uh, I have those. They used to be on a refrigerator, but now they are right next to my desk on my, um, on my file cabinet. Yeah, just so I can look at them. Um, so anyway, those are there. Fantastic. Absolutely 
love them. So you get to see those. And another thing I want to show you guys is the spawn pens. Now I actually planned on buying these from Bacon Avenger. Uh, he is a guy that hangs out in the spawn. Fantastic guy has helped me out so many times with the computer stuff, etc. And I wanted more than just one. Uh, he was kind of making the, the spawn pens. That's an IRC chat. Uh, for folks and seeing who wanted them and and got them custom ordered and I didn't want just one for me I wanted one for me and each of the kids including Joshua and um and I wanted a few extra to be able to give away or just to have and uh really didn't know what I was gonna do with them I just wanted more and so I actually wanted like eight or something and he ended up that he had them ready for me and he gifted them to me he said, don't even worry about paying for it. They're just a gift to you. They're a donation. And so that was really awesome. Now, I was able to give Joshua his. And we have it back. Um, it was just one of those really cool things to have, you know, and, and to be able to have a mark on me that says, hey, I'm with these great group of uh, gamers that are part of the spawn and it's kind of neat for my kids to get and uh, even though they don't really understand they know that I talk to people regularly there and they know them as friends and so it was nice to share that with them and when I went to Minecon I wore my pen and that's how I got to meet Hodge Josh uh, because I'm like hey spawn this guy who was with Hodge had a spawn t-shirt and so I asked, you know, who are you, et cetera. And that's how I ended up meeting Hodge Josh, who was also there with him. So, yeah, I love that. And I gave one pen to uh, Lady Onyx and I gave a pen to Pac when I got to meet Pac Rat. And it's just really nice. And I have a few pins left over so you can see those pins too. And they're such a good quality and it's just such a neat thing and totally, totally unique. And I just, I, I love that. So maybe I should do a giveaway or contest or something with the last couple. I hadn't really thought about it much. That was my original plan, but yeah. Anyway, um, the next thing I want to show you, and this is the pictures that are pretty horrible, but I didn't try to fix these pictures or try to take fresh pictures because uh, <clears throat> you already see it all the time. My, uh, my mic my beautiful blah, 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 words my beautiful blue yeti mic uh was gifted to me uh last august it, it was either august or the tail end of september again it was uh just before we were moving and you will see boxes on our couch when you'll see the pictures of that yeah so anyway uh he gifted me this beautiful blue yeti uh microphone and then like Four days later, after I talked about it and told people about it, I got the stand sent to our, our P.O. box, too. So, or well, it's not a P.O. box. Sent to our box. Uh, so, that was really amazing. So, we ended up having a stand, and I was just pricing them. And it was completely anonymous. So, I don't know who the stand is for from, but thank you. Thank you very much. It's fantastic. And then I did buy the pop filter. So, um, there's that. Um... There was one other thing that I took a picture. Oh, oh, yes. Um, you know, I said I had a thing for magnets and, and keychains. I should totally show you guys my keychain sometime. I have more keychains. I have probably three times the keychains to my keys. Yeah, I like keychains. I have to make myself not get keychains. Anyway, um, I got another set of magnets. We actually got a, a package from um from Pax family and uh it was again last summer <clears throat> and there are all sorts of things oh my goodness and that's Pat calling me right now anyway there are all sorts of things in it um hair stuff and and i'm gonna uh, shush uh, hair stuff and 
uh, you know, little treats and stuff like that. And one of the things that were in there was an assortment of magnets. So I had a good picture of that too. So anyway, there you go. I need to record with Pac for the Pac Rat Pondry 100 special. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope everything turns out good with the editing. Otherwise, I'll be re-filming this. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye. <laughs>